Greetings, and welcome to another edition of Odin Writes Shit. Today I have for you the cryptid collection of Scribal Workshop. Now, Scribal Workshop is a pretty awesome company, in my opinion. Um, these are the permanent ones. The, per the cryptids are the permanent selection. They have a bunny collection, which is water, um, water washable. And then if you go directly to their Etsy site, they have uh, a collection of historical inks, which is made using uh, medieval recipes. And they also have other things like uh, wax tablets, styluses. Um, they even had a watercolor set at one point that I really just really want to get my hands on. Um, I'll put the link down below, and um, if you guys want to check them out, they are so freaking cool. Uh, anyway, so I have seven inks of the cryptic collection. It may or may not be the entire thing. I hope it is because I really don't like chasing down all the things. Uh, yeah. I think I'm going to fast forward and test all these out because there's so many and I want to keep it kind of short. So yeah, here we go. So as you can see, Mermaid is the one that kind of misbehaves the most. It's uh, still pretty wet after <laughs> the time I spent waiting for it to dry. And uh, yeah, that followed probably by Nessie and a little bit of Sasquatch. But the rest of them are pretty nice. I really like Kraken. It's a very dark, dark black kind of comparison. Can I probably compare it to Noodler's uh, Heart of Darkness or X Feather. Maybe I'll do a comparison later. Um, one other thing that I'd like to mention about these inks is that they smell pretty cool. Um, yeah, I've developed that habit of smelling my inks for some reason. But I found a treasure with these. Um, they kind of have this strange woody, earthy smell. Um, like almost a little bit like cedar or pine tar. Um, the closest thing I can relate to, I don't know if anybody likes Lush products, cosmetics, but there's a shampoo uh, bar that kind of, I forgot what it's called. Let me look that up. Soak and float. Shampoo bar called Soak and Float. Um, it smells like a campfire. And these inks kind of smell like a campfire. It's kind of really strange and bizarre. Anyway, I also have written all of these samples on cheap paper and you can also see I had a little bit of an incident with Sasquatch and Mermaid but the rest of them seem to behave pretty nicely I don't have a lot of feathering going on with the rest of these um, well, back I actually think Siren is performing the best in terms of double-sided paper and Nessie is probably pretty good too um, Leviathan, you got a little bit of bleed through and a little bit on Sasquatch. 
I'm of course cracking because it's dark as shit. Uh, but yeah. So let us try and see what happens with the water after I get a clean bill of water because these things are yeah. All right. You'd think I'd be more prepared for these things, but you know. All right. Let's see what it does with some water. Whoop. That kind of weird reaction. Not cool though. All right, let's dry those off a little bit. Oh, getting swam. So, me, as we can see, not so great on the waterproof scale. Uh, yep. The Leviathan was kind of holding its own, but you can still see that if you get big drops on your paper, it probably isn't the greatest. Kraken probably survives the most, but it's also the messiest. It's probably super pigmented, which kind of, and it creates these weird swirly effects, which are kind of cool. Um, but, yeah. Not too much going on with the waterproofing if you're looking for something like that. Um, of my favorites, I would have to say either Siren, Kraken, and Leviathan are probably my choices. Uh, yeah. This has been Scribal Workshops, Cryptids Edition. Go check these guys out, they are super cool. And yeah, thanks for joining me on another edition of Odin Wright Shit, and see you next time.